Ayo, what is poppin' poppers? In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about some leaked Rick and Morty pops. So let's get right into it. Alrighty, so my luck is absolutely terrible. A couple days after I upload my Rick and Morty and Funko video where I talk about how Rick and Morty and Funko possibly cut ties, th there was leaks for Rick and Morty pops in some system of some sort. So credit goes to Sneeko1 on Instagram for finding these. There's a bunch of other uh, different lines that were also found in this system. I don't believe I don't really know what system this is from. Probably GameStop. They're known for accidentally leaking stuff in their system. So in the photos that he posted, there's only three that got actually shown. I believe there probably is a couple more than just three. If I'm going to have to say a rough number of pops that are probably going to release as a line, I'm going to have to say like 10, including exclusives. But with the Rick and Morty lines, we can probably expect like 10 different pops, a bunch of different mystery minis, uh, plushes, stuff like that. Whenever they announce new Rick and Morty lines, they always go full out and announce a bunch of different products as well from different lines. So there's actually three different pops that got leaked for the Rick and Morty line, and those three pops were uh, Evil Morty, which first off, that's really awesome to see that we're getting a new Evil Morty pops. Since the old one is pretty old and outdated, uh, this one was from a couple years ago. I want to say, the, on the bottom of this, it says 2016, so it's about almost, it's turning five years old next year, which uh, if they made an updated version, I wouldn't complain. Uh, this one is starting to go up a little bit in value as well, so an updated version is pretty awesome. And Evil Morty did make a reappearance in season four, so it does make sense that they're making another Evil Morty pop uh, just based off of that as well. And then two other pops I got leaked were uh, Rick and Morty with Glorzos. And Glorzo are basically the aliens that got um, stuck on their faces. So when they were messing around with the eggs on a different planet, they ended up getting the aliens stuck on their face and they were basically getting controlled by the parasites or aliens or whatever. That was a really awesome episode from season four. I really did like that episode. And this actually reminded me of a concept I talked about uh, earlier on in my channel, I believe back in maybe June, sometime in the summer. I'm not exactly sure when, but during an STCC video, which I talked about different characters I would like to see made from Funko, I talked about how I'd love to see a Rick and Morty with Glorzo on their face and I use this concept from Funko New which he did an amazing job with it and if they are going to make Funk, uh, Funko Pops of Rick and Morty with Glorzos I would imagine they look like this. Funko New did an amazing job with this. They make lots of great customs on their Instagram page for Funko Pops so if you want to go check them out I'll put a link down below uh, they have like I said amazing concepts and con uh, customs they make on their uh, Instagram page so I highly recommend going, ch going to check them out. But yeah I mean I know of those three right now uh, like I said I'm sure we can expect a lot more for if they are going to release a more Rick and Morty Pops soon because they always release a lot at, at once so we can expect some mystery minis, probably some pops, some other products from Funko that really just goes to the GameStop clearance section. So if they are making a new line, which it does look very promising, I would love to see some different characters in this line. Just to name a few, we have Goombi, a normal Mr. Golden Fold, since we actually did get a uh, Resistance Golden Fold before we actually got a normal version of him. Uh, that would be pretty cool to see. Maybe Tammy and possibly a Phoenix person. I would love to see a Phoenix person and Tammy made because that was a huge par part of the story's plot. So I would love, love to see a Phoenix person and Tammy made into Pops. But yeah, it's pretty cool to see that we're getting some new Rick and Morty Pops this year. Like I said, it was very unpromising based off of everything I mentioned in my last video. And it didn't really look like we're getting too many uh, new Rick and Morty pop or Pops or products from Funko this year. So it's very awesome to see that we're getting some new products that were leaked uh, for Funko uh, this year from Rick and Morty. I'm super hyped for these. I will definitely be getting these when they do come out. Hopefully for some comments, not anything too limited like to... 500 pieces that's my worst fear i just hope there's never anything really limited for the rick and morty line but anyways guys that's me for today's video hope you enjoyed if you did, please drop a like on the video and let me know in the comments down below what you would like to see from the next rick and morty line uh, like i said for me top three would have to be goomby uh and a phoenix person and tammy those would be really awesome to see but uh, yeah thank you so much for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed and i'll catch you next time peace